Backrooms Robotics, Tomorrow's World for Today's People, Object Number 49, Compression Cubes. Description. Compression cubes are projectile weapons manufactured by the Backrooms Robotics with the purpose of self-defense against hostile forces. They are composed of reinforced steel crafted from scrap metal found on level 2. The dimension of each cube in its normal state is 4.5 inches. Footnote. A size to conveniently fit into the standard pant pocket. End footnote. Compression cubes are consistently sold to several different mega branches and outposts of the BNTG, but have recently made their ways into the trading systems of unaligned vagrants of the backrooms. Image Caption A Compression Cube in Its Dormant State Uses The following document is recording all that the personnel of Backrooms Robotics must read and listen to before handling a compression cube. Hello, we here at Backrooms Robotics have created our most recently artificially engineered weapon, compression cubes. Our goal with this breathtaking invention is to ensure your survival against those lurking horrors hidden behind every corner, so that everyone can have a much more settling experience here in the backrooms. If you haven't already, everyone is required to read and sign the waiver at the very end of this article to ensure you are qualified to handle a compression cube moving forward. Instructional Guide If you, as an individual, were to face an oncoming threat, you need to know how the cube operates. To start, you will first need to press in with any of your four fingers, as well as your opposable thumb, on the center sections of faces 3 and 6. The purpose of this function is to prevent other entities here in the back rooms from using the device against humans. Do not worry, each face will be labeled with the numbers 1 through 6 to avoid confusion. Click here for the full layout. Image Caption The standardized layout of a compression cube. Once both centerpieces touch each other on the inside of the cube, it has been activated. As the device leaves your hand, the spring mechanism will occur after about a second. The cube will then unfold and expand to a length, width, and height of 4 meters. The cube will engulf the target or targets it was thrown at, and then fold back to its original size, resulting in having their entire body forcefully compressed into a cube-like state. On the upper left corner of face 4, you'll find a small engraved square that will eject the now, quote-unquote, compressed waste. Pushing down on the square for over 4 seconds will release the target's compressed body. Repeat the protocol above if you wish to use the compression cube again. Attention! If the person holding the compression cube releases these pressure points located on faces 3 and 6, and it is not thrown, the compression cube will still expand and engulf the user within the cube, compressing them to death. Make sure to release the device immediately after activation. Do not hesitate by any means. Otherwise, you will suffer a fast and possibly painless death. Those who experience emotional distress or remain frozen in place out of sheer panic should not be trusted to operate a compression cube. Side notes to be aware of while testing. If the compressed corpse is not already disposed of, the compression cube cannot be used for a second attempt. If the compression cube fails to capture the intended target, it will fold back to its original size. Will work. Entities, objects, or any material that is made of solid matter. Footnote. A compression cube cannot compress another compression cube, so don't waste your time experimenting with it. Signed, Backrooms Robotics Associate, Derek Crane. End footnote. Will not work. Entities made of either liquid matter, gas matter, or possessing an intangible body. Example, smilers. Entities that possess definite or nearly indestructible bodies. Anything larger than the maximum length, width, and height of 4 meters. Access waiver. Read and sign below. Object 49 waiver. I hereby acknowledge that I will use the device for its intended purpose, and not for my own benefit. 
I understand the nature of the compression cube, and that I am qualified, in good mental health, and in proper physical condition to operate the device accordingly. In consideration of handling a compression cube, I fully acknowledge the potential risks of causing serious bodily injury that could result in permanent disability, damaged vital organs, death, or quote-unquote unalive myself that may be caused by my actions or inactions of other participants. Conditions on the levels in which the, the event takes place or the negligence of other risks are either not known to me or are not readily foreseeable at this time. Backrooms robotics are not to be held reliable as a result of my own ownership of the compression cube. Breaking the device and having it restored by the MEG will result in a fee for selected resources I have on my person as a payment method. Failing to meet the essential requirements will result in being turned down or resorting to another form of compensation that must be paid in full. I have read this release, Waiver of Liability, and Assumption of Risk. I understand that I have given up substantial rights by signing it, and have signed it freely and without any inductment or assurance of any nature. I intend it to be a complete and unconditional release of all liability to the greatest extent. I agree that if any portion of this agreement is held to be valid, the balance, notwithstanding, shall continue in full force and effect. Object 49 Lease Form 1.1 Arbitration all disputes arising in connection with this agreement or further contracts resulting from this agreement shall be finalized and carried out by the MEG. By reading the following waiver, I agree to be held responsible for all further actions held accountable on my behalf. Thus, this agreement has been executed by the parties associated with both the Backrooms Robotics and MEG. Signature X Derek Crane. Date 08 slash 23 slash 2025.